Okay, in this podcast, we're looking at molality. It's got an L after the A instead of an R. And the symbol for it is a small m. Okay, so molality is moles of solute per kilograms of solvent. And if you remember, molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. Okay, so two differences here. We're talking kilograms here and liters here. We're talking about solvent here. So this is moles of solute per however many grams or kilograms of water I put in. And this is liters of solution. You know, at first glance, they look very similar. But in fact, so why use units of molality instead of molarity? Why bother having both? Well, the answer is because mass does not change with temperature. But volume can change with temperature. Now, if we're talking about volume of a solution, we're talking about volume of a liquid, it will not change much with temperature, but it can change if you have extremes. So when we want to use molality is when we have um, extreme temperatures involved because uh, molality will be a more precise uh, concentration value than molarity will be. Okay, so let's take a look at a, an actual problem. Okay, so here we have a solution of 17.1 grams of sugar in 125 grams of water. We want to find the molal concentration. So molality is moles over kilograms. And if I have 17 point, I have to find moles first. So if I have 17.1 grams of sugar, I can find how many moles I have by dividing it by its molar mass. I can put that in the numerator as my moles, and I'm going to divide it by the number of kilograms. Now you notice I, again, caught, carried extra sig figs in my moles, because I'm not going to round until I get to the very end. And when I divide this, I get 0.3396 is what my calculator says, but it looks like I want three sig figs, so when I do that, I'm going to get 0.4 molal of the C11H22O11. Okay. Here's another one. How many grams of methanol is needed to prepare a 2.244 molal solution of methanol in 400 grams of water? So remember, just like with the molarity, 0.244 molal is equal to 0.244 moles over kilograms. So I can use that in a factor label, right? If I take 400 grams of water, I know 1,000 grams is 1 kilogram. I know based on molality that one kilogram of water is 0.244 moles of methanol. And I know that one mole of methanol, if I'm trying to find grams, is 32 grams. So if I multiply all this out, I get a value of 3.13 grams of methanol. All right, let's do another problem. How many grams of water should be added to 15 grams of sodium chloride with this molal solution? All right, so I'm going to take those grams of sodium chloride and figure out how many moles I have. And then I know that because it's a 0.1 molal solution, 0.1 moles of sodium chloride is in a kilogram. And I know that a kilogram of water is 1,000 grams. So if I want my answer in grams, I just plug everything in, cancel out the like units, and I end up with 257 grams of water. And that's going to do it.